No. Nice. Oh, this has three sh- what? I'm so confused. Miserable way to live. Miserable way to die. Raptodons. Ugh, smells like something died in here. Maybe a few somethings. Plasma carbine. Still only one fifty six. Yeesh. But energy rounds. Are what we want, is what I was about to say. Shh. Nobody in this damn town knows how to clean up after themselves. D 
Detailed drawings and advanced pistol. Revisions and comments are scrawled across the image in mostly in 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 illegible writing, except for the name Orson Shaw scribbled in the corner. Schematics depict, depict a phlogisynchrotron pistol from a brand named Force, which is not native to the Halcyon colony. It's unclear from these plans what a phlogisynchrotron flo, flo, does. And is schematic. Can we make a copy of those before we go anywhere? If it were up to me, I would have demanded a copy of, uh... Yeah, if it were up to me, I would have, uh... Blah, blah, blah. It's a lot of money. Mag to power. I don't need more of those right now. Take a music box. Are we done in here, you think? I think so. forward whack 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 Back to Orson. Does it can I make a copy of these, please? I know we're in magical future land, but that doesn't mean that that nobody has copiers anymore. He should be happy. Employee, you have been fined an additional 200 bits for commerce obstruction. Please collect your ticket. Do, 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 do. Why do you seem familiar? Have we met? Yeah, you asked me to grab your prototype schematics from storage. Ah, yes. Very good. 
And have you done that? Yeah. Got them right here. What a relief. You hold months of work in your hands. Force weapons are contraband. Why didn't you turn this in when you found it? Anton would have just given them to Porter without a second thought. What a waste of potential that would have been. These are valu valuable schematics. I could sell them for quite the profit. Hmm. Sadly true. Contraband does tend to fetch a high price among the colony's ne'er-do-wells. So be it. I'll buy them off of you. And over the schematics. Deal. Much obliged. Here are your bids. Now, let's see here. Attach this, twist that, apply a little pressure, and voila! I can finally call this little side project complete. Thank the law. Oh. Hmm. I can't be caught with this. You take it. If R&D buys the schematics from me, perhaps I'll get you the first model. Hot off the presses. I'll, uh, call you? Yes, I'll call you. Okay. What did I get? I got an ultimatum. Takes energy. Yes. It's low damage. Like, the DPS is lower. But, uh... Let's tr go ahead and try this. See how I like it. Okay, what else do we have here? Back inside. It's kind of what I kind of what I thought. Hop. Oh, I can't, I can't hop that high. Hop. Okay, well, I suppose... You picked a hell of a day to visit. I'm Vaughn. Vaughn Cortez. Uh, Dr. Vaughn Cortez. But just Vaughn's fine, really. Where were you when the outlaws attacked? Over in the main labs. I rabbited back here when I realized I was hearing gunshots, not blown fuses. Reasonable. We've been cooped up in here, I don't know, hours? Too long. I have to get back to, to work. You look nervous. What? <laughs> uh, I mean, we're surrounded by hungry raptodons. Who wouldn't be? I killed right. most of them. Look, I don't want to go back out there, but there's a thing I gotta do. Okay. I had to leave an experiment running at the lab. Something I've been working on a long while. Something that could really get me ahead. Know what I mean? I think I do. Thing was extracting stuff from raptodons. I found it. You already went up to the lab? Um, long shot here, but any chance you brought my results back with you? Here, if you'd set your equipment up properly, uh, it would have yielded more. I'll remember that. I'm not the greatest technician. This is gonna make me so popular. I mean, with the people who buy it, not by using it. Because I'm not. Of course not. Take this. You earned it. If you run into me again after all this is over, maybe I'll have more. Pleasure doing business with you. See ya. Lie is such a great skill to have. Hi, chickens. Any more quests around here? The distress signal. Return to Gladys. That is on Sia. And this is on Sia. And that's on Monarch. And that just needs us to return. So let's go to Gladys then. Ah. <sighs> 
good progress. I think we're we're done in Roseway today. I do quite I I I wish I will say this is something I want out of I want more out of games is just little bits of uh movement sway when you make quick movements while ADS uh, so aim so ADS uh, ADS is short for aim down sights and so I, I like it when games have a little uh, ADS sway when you move around it just feels more realistic to me it doesn't have to be much. It's not there. The goal isn't there to make it difficult. But it's there so that when you move... Like, it it makes it so you can't do fast, uh, fast swings. So easily. Next skin. Okay, I want to check out what I can put on this pistol. Nothing, apparently. No modifications on this pistol. Has no modification slots. Yep, no mod slots. Sad. What if I... 37 bits. 77 bits. If as long as it's under... Under a thousand. I'll do it. There we go. So up here to Sam. Install the acid steeper. Sounds like a good noise. Yay! Initiating initialization sequences. Greetings, customer! This SAM unit is unable to locate your registered information. Uh -oh. Would you like to register your SAM? Yes! Registering new owner, Captain! Yay! Welcome to the crew, Sam. Sam units live to clean and clean to live. And another level up. Woo! Okay. Uh, knowing that, we probably should bump long guns up to 50. No, no, no. Let's go ahead and revert. And we want to bump things up to 40 is the current goal. Yeah, get the getting things up to 40 initially is is our goal. So persuade up to 40. I could get lie up to 42. You know, let's get lie up to 40 as well. And then perks. Uh, plus 10 to dialogue skills when I have no companions in the party. Minus 50% consumable weight. That's probably pretty important. Let's go ahead and keep upgrading science weapons. As I can. And... Let's 
Let's go back to the Groundbreaker. Feels pretty good, doesn't Destination it? Destination reached. The Groundbreaker. Alien Parvati. Okay. Wee. To the rest and go. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? Indeed I have. You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. Investigated that distress signal from Roseway. What's that? Speak up now. About those secrets you asked me for. What'd you turn up? I acquired some research on a on Raptor on Musk. Interested? Pardon me, sweetheart. My old ears must have misheard you. Did you say Raptor on? Gracious! Someone must have hauled them off Monarch. Naughty, naughty. Mm-hmm. A couple of folks around here might pay a fair few bits for this. Might even be able to start a bidding war. Found a toothpaste for me, but then I uh, unfound it. Well, that's just, just swell, sweetheart. Good for you. Found a prototype, prototype weapon schematic from Force, but I lost it. Bless your slippery little fingers. Isn't that just a shame? Prototype schematics go for a fair handful of bits around here. I think that's it. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? I'm certain there's nothing left. Can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. I'll buy the Stellar Bay napkin. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a dear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Let me see what you got to trade. For some I found a handsome ceramic manta pillar at a salvage auction last week. Wow. Yeah, I am relatively poor. Ooh, and that's light. Uh, and that's only 550. Yeah, I probably should buy that, shouldn't I? That's really cheap. Thank you very much, young lady. We're going to sell out of our weapons. We don't want the plasma carbine or the anarchist cookbook or the HMG or the assault rifle. We don't want the th thug kits. I know Monarch's a moon. I think it counts anyhow. As <laughs> long as there's paying work, you can count me in. Well, how much am I paying you, Ellie? Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch. Once again, 
not where I meant to go. Hey. And then we go. There was a plan. There was a place we should have gone. Okay. Whoops. Whoops. Yet yeah, so far away. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, neat. They got stuff in here I ain't seen in ages. Oh, this is what we do. Some freelancers okay. sneer at Sublight for setting up a storefront, but they rake in the bits. Yay! Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a <laughs> legitimate business for legitimate consumers. <laughs> you the one flying the unreliable? I am. The name's, Cap name's Captain Hawthorne. Sure you are. Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Hey, Doc Fenhill. Glad to see you ain't moved on from Groundbreaker yet. Hey, Tobias. How's the leg? Good as you left it, ma'am. Still bends and everything. You two know each other? Took some extra lead while I was on a job. Ellie here patching me up good. The other guy thought his ship was perfectly operational. I told him it was salvage. We disagreed. I won. Hmm. Workplace hazards, Captain. Pretty routine around here. Sure. So you're a satellite employee? Sure am. A few years back, they got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days, I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia. I should go. Lilia. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Sure. Lilia Hagen, CEO and executive director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Captain Hawthorne, proud owner of the Unreliable. A little advice. Before you start telling lies, Get a feel for who you're talking to. It's nice to see the Unreliable again. A useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. Don't let Ada hear you call on her ship names. Is Ada still at the helm? I don't know how many times I told Hawthorne to restore that smartass to factory settings. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings, but there's a catch. Okay. Just like in the serials. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? You can go to get into Stellar Bay. Tell me about the job. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. Okay. I'll take the job. Now get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes in the back of your head. 
Sure. Understood. Understood. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. Good enough for me. Yeah, me too. Let's go. We're not gonna have to hurt nobody, are we? Parvati, what do you think we have been doing all this time? Why do you think I walk around everywhere I go with the weapons MP out? Worst, worst. It's not the worst unless it's worst, worst. Surely you didn't think it was just because I like carrying weapons. Do, 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 do. <sighs> now we can go back to the unreliable. Impeccable timing, Captain. I was about to watch the latest episode in Halcyon Helen's thrilling serial adventure. Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Put him on screen. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. Sure. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. Okay. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. Mm -hmm. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Just tell me what to do. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Neoka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Sure. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. All right, I'm off. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Murder on e Eridanos. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? You mentioned an Aetherwave drama? I'd like to see it. Certainly, Captain. I was hoping you would ask. Chapter 12. It was the law forsaken parasites. I had become obsessed. My quest to stop them. To avenge my partner, Philip. And my ex partner, Bernice. And Lieutenant Jurgen. And those two informants had brought me to Rizzo's distillery. But it wasn't just the triple distilled deliciousness of Rizzo Spectrum brand vodka that I found there. It was death. I made sure the brain eaters paid the price. But at what cost to me? Okay, that's some gorgeous camera work. I want a revolver that's that big. I want that many shots. Yes, please. It's I, wa you. I want it. This 
is the Halcyon News Network with breaking news. Halcyon Helen has been murdered. Administrator Ludovico of Rizzo's refused to answer the big question on everyone's mind. Who will Spectrum Vodka's next spokesperson be? Claiming that a special investigation must be concluded first. Well, that was fun. Captain, we have a communication coming in from one Administrator Ludovico. Get off the transmission, Cedric. We agreed to let me do the negotiating. Law be with you, friend. I am Administrator Ludovico of the famed Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. But there's no need to stand on formality. You may address me as Mr. Okay, mister. Let me guess, this is about Halcyon Helen's murder. Her death is the tragedy of our lifetime. As the face of our new product line, her murder is a stain on the Rizzo's brand. She was scheduled to unveil our newest product, Spectrum Brown, before this tragic event. But we cannot move forward with our unveiling until we apprehend the killer. And your first thought was to come to me? All right, Ludovico, that's enough. You don't know what you're doing. Let me handle this. Captain Hawthorne, so glad to finally have a word with you. I would have been so disappointed if Ludovico monopolized your attention. Cedric Kincannon, Sublight Underground. I'm so glad we're hiring a third-party investigator. No one wants to see a troop of UDL guards stomping all over my hotel. Least of all me. The murder of Halcyon Helen is a heinous assault on this colony. I look forward to watching you find the miscreant responsible and drag them out of the shadows. Hmm. I was shaken by the news of myself. Helen brought a lot of joy to this, to call, to this colony. You're a compassionate person, Captain. And you're right. Halcyon Helen was a talented woman. She had a gift for transforming her art into wealth. Mm -hmm. You would not believe the money she made us on dissident busters. For law's sake, Cedric, could you show a little discretion and not bring up your contraband operations in front of an outsider? Ludovico, you wound me. I'm establishing rapport with our new contractor. Let's not give him the impression that you can't be trusted. Do you really want to do this right now, Cedric? You want to antagonize me while I'm negotiating a contract? Because I promise you, I'll win. Can we get back to the uh, point here, please? Yes, exactly. Thank you. Honest to law, how hard is it to hire a freelancer? Apologies, Mr. Ludovico. That was inappropriate of me. Captain, I'm Constable Maria Keene. Hiring a third-party investigator was my idea. I've been studying your dossier. You are an extraordinary scientist. If your talents extend to forensics, then you may be exactly what we need. As far as I'm concerned, you're the ideal inspector for this case. Just how many people are involved in this communication? Just the three of us. Okay. Just check. Just checking. It's hard to follow with all this arguing. You must excuse us. The situation on Eridanos is tense. If we don't bring Helen's killer to justice, this scandal could scupper our entire operation. Please, Captain. I'm asking you to help us. While you're pursuing your investigation, we'll make you a guest of honor at the Grand Colonial. You can count on me. The future of our complex may depend on your success. I'll leave you in the constable's care. Mr. Kincannon and I must have a word. Fine. Bud Rizzo's is paying for that hotel room. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your help. And even though they may not show their gratitude, I know Administrator Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon appreciate your involvement. Mr. Kincannon could lose his spaceport if board authorities took over the investigation. And if Rizzo's is forced to cancel its unveiling, we might never recover. Hmm. All right, got everything I need. Transmission terminated. Captain, we are now clear to land at the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. I don't know why they're trusting me to cast Chelsea on Helen's killer. There are several reasons why someone would hire your services. In descending order of likelihood, they are as follows. Desperation, confusion, 
mistaken identity, inebriation, and genuine faith in your abilities. <laughs> what can you tell me about Ari Aridanos? Aridanos is a hydrogen helium gas giant, distinguished by a well-defined ring system. The Aridanos atmospheric complex is a system of land masses propelled through a thin layer of the upper atmosphere, where humans are potentially capable of surviving. Thanks, Ada.